It's billed as one of the fastest sports on snow, with horses pulling skiers and snowboarders around a course at speeds of up to 65 kilometers per hour. Ski joring started in Scandinavia, combining cross-country skiing and dog sledding. But here in Western Canada, home to cowboys and trick skiers, it's all about the horsepower and getting big air. It's just about guts and glory and going fast and having a good horse that you can ride into battle. Ski Tour Canada started in 2017. Since then, competitions have drawn medaled skiers, trick riders and championship cowboys and cowgirls. Riders and sliders test their skills in events such as circuits, sprints, relays and the long jump. Winners take home a few thousand dollars, but nobody takes the competition too seriously. We were hoping for the best of times. We were hoping to hop in our plywood truck that we built and rip down that little strip in front of all those people and hopefully not die. Skajorian has come a long way from its roots in Scandinavia and organizers here say that it's now the fastest growing winter sport in North America. What started as a private event for a dozen people four years ago now attracts more than 150 competitors from across Canada and the US. One of the crowd favorites came from much further afield. We have uh, our first ever Irish team competing at this year's Ski Jordu. Uh, they don't have snow in Ireland, so they've been practicing uh, using garbage bags and mud. Many of the 4,000 spectators came out to cheer on family and friends. And then there were those who were curious to see how two very different sports could be brought together. Uh, I think it's very good because I'm a horse rider, a classic horse rider, and my boyfriend is a skier. So we wanted to come and see both disciplines together. Ski Jour Canada is aiming to create a national championship in the years to come, blending together mountain culture with the cowboy lifestyle in an exhilarating sport that's hard to forget. David Mercer, Al Jazeera, in Millerville, Canada.